It is said that the sea speaks more truthfully to one who is about to drown. As a naturopathic doctor and an acupuncturist, we learn that the water element, it corresponds with the emotion fear. And fear is defined as being in the presence of the unknown. And in that presence, there's the potential for courage, wisdom, power, and humility. Lagos, Portugal, 1982, in a gorgeous secluded beach with my dear spiritual friend Luna and my goddess girlfriend Aurelia. While Luna was charming a bunch of Portuguese older men on the beach, Aurelia and I strolled into the ocean, chest deep, the beautiful, calm, blissful ocean. Suddenly, out of nowhere, enormous tsunami-like waves crushed over our heads, smashing us to the ground below. Aurelia wasn't even swimming. She was thrashing around, and I was swimming in as fast as I possibly could. In a panic mode, I decided all I can do is swim to the shore, even if I can, and, and catch my breath and then scream for help, and if I can, I'll go back and try to get her. Swimming against the undertow with all my strength, I finally got there. I so wanted to collapse in the shore, but Aurelia was still bobbing helplessly in the waves. Hesitant, I dove into the ocean one more time, and within seconds, I was again smashed to the floor of the ocean. My heart sank. I knew there was nothing I could do. It was surreal. It was, I was numb. Unexpectedly, my mind flashed on the ancient scripture, Bhagavad Gita, that I'd been studying with Luna. And this scripture describes the amazing warrior Arjuna and his plight of his spiritual evolution overcoming his greatest fears, and fulfilling his dharma or life purpose. I wanted so much his strength, but I was feeling scared and frozen. And in that moment, I let go into the abyss of the waves. I went inside, and I dropped into my trembling heart. And from a place I'd never been before, I silently whispered for help. And miraculously, just as quickly as the waves came, the ocean calmed. And without even having a moment to think about what just happened, I swam over to Aurelia, dragged her to shore, and after spitting up some water, she was okay. And she looked at me with those big brown eyes and said, I never learned how to swim. It's true that the ocean speaks more truthfully to one who's about to drown. At that moment in the water, I was terrified. I felt the depths of my fear, the bewilderment in my heart, and yes, the gratitude of divine intervention. That Lagos water experience has touched and deepened every interaction I've had with all of my patients over the years, and it's also influenced every challenge and twist of my life. Many of you may have had profound transformational experiences. Some of them have probably brought you to your knees. But it's not always necessary to actually have incredibly powerful or miraculous experiences to evolve personally, professionally, or spiritually. But what is important, what is necessary, is to allow yourself to let go in the presence of the unknown. To have the courage to show up every moment in your life. To be wise enough and humble enough to ask for help when you really need it. This world is swimming in an ocean of fear and uncertainty. Never before have we seen such wild and crazy events. But know and have faith 
without a shadow of a doubt that you are all here. You are all here to bravely flow in the presence of the unknown. To shine your light, to share your gifts, and to be and evolve into the best person you can possibly be. And love with power, humility, and courage. Thank you very much. Namaste.